Hello aquaponics growers, um, today a short video I want to show you the differences I had in terms of growth between some plants that I put in a classic garden and some plants that were disposed in an aquaponics setup. So I plant them exactly at the same time and today we can see some differences. So I can't say for 100% that it's due to the way they've been grown. It can be also due to the exposition, uh, to the wind, to the temperature, you know, some micro temperature that you can have some differences between being close to a fence or another. Like it's not a scientific experiment, but at least you can see a real difference between those plants that have been grown in aquaponics and in a classic garden. Also, I would like to show you a few insects that are growing around in the aquaponic setup. I hope you will enjoy the video. Don't forget that you can have access to a free guide to build your own aquaponic setup from the description of this video just below here. And that's a step-by-step -step, uh, process to help you to build your own aquaponic setup, but also to produce sustainable, healthy, and tasty food at home in your own backyard. So I just would like to show you a kale that has been grown in the soil and I would like to compare the size to uh, another one that has been grown in aquaponics. So this particular one is 35 centimeters. And here we've got a little broccoli. So this broccoli grown in the soil is not even 20 centimeters. And I also have some chili. So the chili here is only 10 centimeters. So now let's compare it to um, some plants that have been grown in aquaponics and planted in the same time as the one in the garden. So here we got the kale. We got some kale here. So the other one was uh, 35 centimeters and this one is 65 centimeters. So this scale here is 65. And then we had some broccoli. So broccoli we got some here as well. And well, this one here, you can see the broccoli is already developed. We got uh, already the, the, the broccoli that is here. Well, it's still small, but we're going to be able to eat it soon. And what is the size of the plant? Plants goes. If I take the longest leaf, is 87 centimeters. So it's quite bigger. And then we had some chili. So where do we have some chili here? And here we got some. So it was 10 centimeters in the soil. And here on my rusty thirty centimeters, twenty-seven thirty. So we can see that um, it grows uh, way better in aquaponics. And here we got some um, freshwater mussels that we just received. And I don't want to talk too much about it because. Uh, I'm probably going to make a special video to present them uh, in aquaponics, but I'm just going to release them in my setup. So now let's have a look at the insects. So here you can see a few of the vegetables that I'm growing at the moment. So you can see there is a big biodiversity. Um, so we can see some cabbage, broccoli, kale, silver beets, beetroots, strawberries. So there is a very wide variety of plants. What is interesting is that at this time of the year, we got the butterflies that are spawning. So I'm going to show you, but it's a perfect opportunity for me to feed my fish. Here we can see some plants in a special system. It's autopots. So they are pots that are watered thanks to the aquaponic system. So it's a very specific way to grow uh, food in a special aquaponics way. So here we got some butterflies that are spawning on the cabbage. So it's really the period at the moment. It's the butterflies, they are coming around, they, they spawn on everything that is cabbage, broccoli, kale. You know, they love those type of, of, of leaves. 
And later on, we're going to have other type of butterflies who are going to spawn on the tomatoes. So obviously, it's, it's something to take into account to understand that obviously they are spawning everywhere. So they are leaving some little eggs. And if you look carefully, you're going to be able to spot the eggs and to squash them. So if you want to get rid of the issue, you can really get rid of the eggs when they are small. Now, if you have a big crop, it may be a bit more difficult to do, but there are other insects that are going to help you later on, uh, such as the black hornet. It's a little hornet that is going to be able to spawn inside the caterpillar. And now, how to detect the caterpillars. You can also pick them when they are big. And you just have to look at the poop. If you see some, some poop on the, on the media, on the leaves, you can be sure there is a caterpillar around. So then you can look in the leaves and try to spot them. And the good thing with caterpillars is that you can use them to feed your fish. It's a really good source of protein to feed your fish. So don't waste it and really recycle it and feed your fish with. It's really uh, full of vitamins and food, full of, um, of uh, proteins and a lot of things that the fish really need. So, you know, you feed your fish with maybe food from aquaculture, but sometimes to times, if you can just spot some caterpillars or other insects and feed them with, it's going to be really, really good for your fish. So it's sometimes very tricky to find the caterpillars because they are in the leaves, you know, the green, green on green, sometimes it's tricky to find, uh, but it's, it's really possible to detect them thanks to the poop. So if you look at the base of the plant once again, you're going to be able to find the poo. And if you find the poo, then you can, you can find, you can spot the caterpillar that is just above and then you can give it to your fish. So here you see the fish feeding and once they are excited like this, you can just throw the caterpillar and the fish are going to come and eat the caterpillar and they're going to love it. So another type of insects that you can find in your aquaponics crop are the aphids. So aphids are tiny insects and they grow on the plant and they suck the, uh, the, the juice of the plant. So unfortunately, when they grow, they can, they can spread very fast. They can multiply extremely fast. But fortunately, we got some natural predators around that are able to regulate this population of aphids. So what I found very interesting was that in my aquaponic setup, I had very few of them, but on the garden, on the classic garden aside, I had some plants that were completely uh, infested by them. So such as the one you see now, you see this population of aphids is very well established. And um, it's really, really a problem for this plant. Uh, fortunately, I had some predators on the aquaponic setup. And after a while, they were able to spread in the garden and to take care of this problem. So we will see that there are different types of predators that can get rid of aphids. One that is very famous are the ladybugs that is able to, to eat a huge quantity of aphids per day. But there are other types of predators as well. So we got the black hornet. Uh, you know, I talked about it before. They, the black hornet, they are able to spawn in their prey. So they can spawn inside the caterpillar, but they can also spawn inside the aphid. So here on the screen, we can see a black hornet that is spawning inside an aphid. And you can see really when once it's spawned inside, it's going to release some eggs. And those eggs are going to give birth to some larvae that are going to eat uh, the aphid from inside. So it's not very nice, but it's very efficient. So you can see the, the little hornet. They, they are trying to fly around to find as many, as many aphids as possible and to spawn in each of them. And once um, the little baby uh, black hornets are ready, 
Uh, obviously, the aphid die, and then a bunch of new black hornets are living from this uh, aphid, and obviously, they're going to look around for new prey. So you understand the more prey there are and the more predator you have. So then you get an army of insects that are there. They are ready to fight to basically protect your crop. So it's really, really cool to see them. Uh, each time you spend a bit of time in the aquaponics garden, you're going to find more and more insects. You're going to see them and be able to spot them and to admire how they really, it's a real war there. They're really fighting to help you. So here you can see the seafood adult. So you see it's a yellow and black. I'm sure you saw them sometimes in around your aquaponics setup. And here now you can see moving, uh, it looks like a worm, but this worm has got inside, at the end it's got an aphid you know, in his mouth. So if you look at them, they are the, the larvae of the, of the seafood. And uh, those larvae, they are able to eat a lot of aphids every day. So it's quite cruel to see them because obviously they are eating, they are sucking um, the blood of the aphid. So the aphid is taking a lot of time to die, uh, but they are very efficient because they, they eat aphid after aphid. You know, you see the quantity of aphids there are. So basically, um, this, uh, this little larvae, this little worm, is able to, to catch one, eat, eat one, throw it away, catch a new one, eat it, and so on. So it's continuously um, working. And here you see they work together with the black hornet. The black hornet is spawning again inside uh, an aphid. So, you know, all this is super efficient. And once you got those predators around, a plant that is a uh, really really highly uh, infested such as this one um, is going to be able to be cleaned in a few days so it's really amazing so personally i really spend a lot of time watching the different insects in my setup and the different predators so here you can really see a zoom on the larvae that is eating an aphid so you see the aphid is trying to move but it can't go anywhere and um, yeah, the larvae is eating it slowly, so it's it's quite sad sad to see. But for us, it's really it's really working for us because those aphids, otherwise, they would really kill the plant as well. So you got this cycle, you know, the cycle of life where you got creatures eat, eaten by others. Unfortunately, this is how it works. Uh, even living creatures um, are eaten by others, and yeah, that's definitely the cycle of life. So nothing is lost, you see. Um, even the energy that is taken for the plant by some insect is going to be um, eaten by other insects. Uh, and at the end, the other insects, sometimes you can even feed your fish with. So you really, everything goes back to the system, you know, so it's quite, quite interesting. Um, and here you see, you got some very interesting footage of uh, this uh, seafood larvae that is eating the aphid. So three days later, I come back on the same plant. And now we can see that it's almost cleaned of any aphids. And the few aphids that you may be able to spot on this footage, they were actually the aphids that were uh, used by the black hornet. So they are just empty, they are dead. You know, some larvae uh, grew from them. So you see the plant now is able to grow again. Uh, it's been very, very tough for this plant for a while. But now, you know, thanks to those, uh, to those uh, seafood larvae and the black hornet, they are now able to grow again uh, in good condition and clean off all the aphids. So it's really, really interesting. You see, you got a wave of, of uh, insects that are eating the plant. Then you got the wave of predators that are coming around. And then oh, it's clean. Uh, you see there is no, nothing left. And the plant can grow again in good condition. So that's the magic. And uh, when you work in aquaponics, obviously, you don't want to treat, you don't want to put any chemical. And a lot of people will be very tempted to put chemicals on this plant to save it from the aphids. But when you let nature do the job, you see that everything is clean by itself. So you don't even really need to do much. Just work with nature, work with biodiversity, and let it do the job.
Okay, Aquaponics growers, I hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, if you are new, don't forget to get uh, the free guide to build your own aquaponics setup from the description of the video just below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!